So one of the most important thing when it comes to filmmaking is to make sure that you have the correct skin tone. Because this is one of the things that we as humans gonna notice if it's wrong. Even if we don't have the knowledge about filmmaking. Because it lies in our nature. And this is actually one of the things that separates the professionals from the beginners. So let's jump over to the computer and I will show exactly how I will correct my own skin tone. So welcome to the channel, my name is Mats and when I learn about filmmaking you will too. So make sure to subscribe for more content. And in this video I'm using DaVinci Resolve because it's free and it's a very powerful software. And you can of course use whatever software that you want to use as long as you can do the same thing that I'm gonna show you in this video. So let's jump over to the color tab down here. So the first thing that you want to do is to change your scope and we want to change it from Parade to Vector Scope. Then let's go into the settings for the scope and we want to go down here and check this little box where it reads Show Skin Tone Indicator. Now we're getting a line here in the vector scope and we're gonna use this line to correct our skin tone. And I just want to mention that it doesn't matter what skin color you're correcting for because we are actually correcting for the blood in our skin, not the actual pigment. So now we only want my skin to appear in the vector scope and we can do that by creating a mask. So let's go over to the masking tool right here and we're gonna use this circular mask because we want to highlight only my skin. Then we want to press this highlighting button so now when we see only my skin, it's gonna be much easier to correct the skin tone. So let's go over to the curves tab. It's the first one right here. And we want to go over to the second page. And you want it to be on hue versus hue. Now you only need to go up to the skin and you can see that you have a dropper on your mouse. Just press on the skin that you have highlighted and you can see down in the curves that it's gonna mark out your skin tone in this curve. So now when you're moving this dot up or down you can see in the vector scope that your skin tone will move. So let's bring it down right there. You don't need it to be exactly on the line but as closer as you can get the more correct your skin tone will be. So let's press on this highlight button once more. Let's go down to the masking tool and uncheck the mask. So let's see how it looked before. This is before and it's quite red actually. And this is after. And of course you can do this how advanced that you want to. You can change the highlight roll off and do a lot of things with your skin to make it even better. But this is a really easy way to correct your skin and it doesn't have to take that long time. Going from this looking like a tomato to more of a natural skin tone is more than enough. So this is actually one of the things that I do in all of my videos. And if you want to learn more about filmmaking, make sure to subscribe and watch my next video that YouTube will recommend for you right now. And as always, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.